Well, it was a great win. Um, you know, we started off slow, uh, but our guys responded. Uh, they really came out uh, with a physical mentality, and uh, they went right at us. And uh, we didn't respond early. We got flustered a little bit early, got a technical foul, but our guys kind of weathered that storm and, and came back and I thought played extremely well. They averaged about 78 points a game. We hold them to, uh, I think, maybe is it uh, 62 points. Uh, you know, 37% defensive field goal percentage, 22 from the three. Um, and then came back in the second half and out-rebounded them, you know, ended up winning the rebound battle plus 11. So it was a good win. And um, and then the other thing I told them, I said, you know, they, they made history from a standpoint tonight is, you know, Murray State, this is the first time they've had a string of five consecutive 20-plus win seasons. And uh, this is the fifth team uh, to do that. You know, this is the this is team number five to, to – to, uh, Push, push us to number five, and I told them, you know, that's a great achievement, especially when you start the season two and five and you go through a lot of the adversity, you lose two point guards. I mean, everybody knows what we've been through, so no reason re re repeating that. But to, and now we're 18 and six in our last 24 games. So um, really proud of them and uh, proud to be a part of a, a, a terrific program uh, like Murray State. But it was a good win, and I thought we got, we got, we, we played better defensively both games, Missouri State and this, and, and that's one of the reasons why we're uh, in this tournament. But we got a really, really good team coming in here Thursday. We're going to have to play really well. Jonathan talked about that you, know, you put the word character, uh, especially in the second half before the combined half time. Just kind of talk about that because it was chippy out there. Yeah, it was real chippy. <laughs> <laughs> it was real chippy. Good thing, uh, that's my boy Jarvis. Uh, good thing, uh, you know, Farrell, if he wasn't doing this, he'd be defensive end for the Bears or he'd be fighting Hogan, you know, in, in uh, WWF. So I wasn't worried about us. I thought we'd be – I thought Farrell would be able to handle his own out there. But it was chippy, you know. But that, that was good because it was good to see our guys have to respond to a different level of toughness. Um, you know, we haven't played teams from that league, and they brought a different level of toughness, and we had to match that, and I thought we did. And you talk to the guys, you know, great teams are comprised with great character, great toughness and great ability. If you have two of the three, you'll, you can do some good things. If you have all three, you know, you got a chance to do something really, really special. And, and it's fun coaching these guys. Uh, but, you know, character, the biggest thing I told them about character is outside of basketball, you got good character, you're going to do well in life. And that, that's what we want our guys to do. The game was kind of in a lull there. Dexter comes out, hits back-to-back -back threes. Did you feel like that was kind of the dagger there when he got going? Well, it's like someone just told me, uh, and I, I hope I don't get in trouble for this, but they just some, somebody sent a text message, and, uh, and, a, and, a, and a, somebody showed it to me. They said, do we play Towson? Are we sure for sure? Do we have to go to the monitor to, to find out? <laughs> you know, so... <laughs> You know, I think that's what slowed the game down. Right. I mean, it was monitor, 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 and they're doing their job. So there's nothing you can do about that. But the game was at a really good big lull, and that's why I told our guys I think it was 70 to 55. And I just said, hey, man, we just need to finish this game, do the right things, and finish this game out. And Dexter hit back-to-back -back threes and got it to 20, and I think that just, you know, it was that, that kind of just finished off everything. Such a young team. How how does it help to, to be in this tournament and to make a run in it? How does that help you going forward? Well, I think it just gives you confidence. I think it gives you great confidence because, you know, we were so close to winning the conference championship this year. If Cam makes a free throw at SEMO, we win the conference championship. And that would have been a, a terrific feat for this team. And, and then we go, and, and East Kentucky had a tremendous tournament and beat us down there. But I think it gives us confidence. It gives us an ability uh, for us to do some things. If you followed us all season, we're playing a little bit different defensively, trying to work on ball screen defense, three-quarter court defense zone, just to see some things going in next year, what we as a staff have to really do a good job breaking down and getting better. So, uh, But our mentality going into this is we're trying to win it. And you know whether we do that or not is, is yet to be seen. But when you look at us, when you look at Towson, 25 wins, when you look at Ohio, 25 wins, when you look at Yale and Columbia, second and third place in the Ivy League, behind Harvard, who obviously we all know is really good, and that's in VMI, who's in the 21, 22 win, you know, and finished second in the Big South, who Coastal Carolina played Virginia's tail off, you know, the other day. You've got some good teams in here, so it's helping us continue to get better. And that's why we want to win, but we want to get better and work on the things we need to get better at. Um, so I'm pleased, and, you know, obviously we want to be in the NCAAs next year. That's our goal. But, you know, you go back and look at some of these tournaments, CIT, CBI, you'll be amazed. Creighton, Butler, Pittsburgh, Mercer won it two years ago. 
Uh, they just beat Duke the other day. So it, it, it's good. It's good for a young nucleus where six of our top seven guys are back. How nice was it to be back home after a month? Yeah, it was great, man. I thought our fans tonight were great. We were on campus with the students today, handing things out. We'll probably do it again on Thursday. But I thought our crowd was terrific. There was a lot of energy. I, I really thought the energy level was really, really good. So uh, hopefully we'll even have, you know, a couple hundred, maybe maybe do a thousand more on Thursday because the level of the game, you know, raise another level. And then um, there's a chance we could, if we won, we could chance we could be at home for a TV game. You know the next Tuesday, so but one at a time. But the the fans I thought was really really great with short notice, uh, students as well, and I really appreciate all those that came out. You've uh, expanded your rotation a little bit the last two games. Is that because of the circumstances uh, around both of the games? TJ not being available for the Missouri State game, and then the the margin here. Yeah, well, TJ TJ not being available that gave Rambo a great opportunity. Ram Rambo stepped up and he's done the things the last two games that we want him to do. Glue guy, toughness, defend, make, you know, get a couple deflections. He's done that. Um, and then CJ played a little bit up at, at Missouri State, you know. But and then tonight, you know, we had some, you know, a little bit of foul trouble with Jarvis. But you know, Cam can't just play 40 minutes, so CJ needs to get out there. And Rambo stepped in again tonight and, and did some good things. But and then we were up a little bit to where you could. You could put some guys in and, and, and see them play. And, you know, TJ Sapp plays tonight and, and doesn't get a turnover in 26 minutes. And that's a terrific stat for him. And so he's making strides. That's the first thing he said when he saw me after the game is, Coach, I didn't have a turnover tonight. I said, Well, let me check the stats first. Uh, but, you know, we played five, six, you know, seven guys, legit minutes. And, and that's where we want to be to where we're playing seven guys, legit minutes, and then having eight and nine that you feel real good about playing. Talk about Townsend on Thursday, if that's the official game. Yeah, it's Townsend, we think. Uh, it, is now, it is now official. Yeah, okay. it is. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't know much about Towson outside. They've won 13 out of their last 15, finished second place in the Colonial behind Delaware, who had a terrific year and, and played Michigan State really well in the tournament. Um, What's the kid's name, the four-man? Uh, Jarrell Beneman. Jarrell Beneman, who is a two-time Colonial Player of the Year, uh, transfer from Georgetown that has a possibility this year to be an NBA draft pick. And that's going to be a tough matchup for us at the four. Uh, so we're, we've got our hands full. And, but that, that's why we're in this, because, you know, there's a lot of good, you know, the, the NCAA tournament, they're not the best 68 teams, that's, but th that's what makes the tournament so special. You know, but there's really good teams in NIT, Louisiana Tech, Southern Miss. Um, you know, there's really good teams in, in this tournament, just like the CBI's got a couple really good teams still left in it.